In this video, we'll continue on, and now we're going to make what we call the X label. As you can see here, it will show us Wednesday, and it moves to the different label as we hover around here. And more interesting is here, we get here the long one, and we'll make sure that the text will fit nicely all the time. So even this, and we go if we go outside the area, it will just disappear nicely. So let's start to look how to do this. So for part six, we're going to continue on going to solve basically three items. First of all, put in here the bottom, the text. Secondly, as you can see here, I want to solve the hiccup. I forgot to do that in the previous video. So we have to hide this when we're outside the chart area. And finally, if you might notice here, at this point here, what happened is suddenly here, the tooltip would appear. And I think I disabled the tooltip here. So then suddenly it doesn't show anything at all. So we need to solve this kind of tiny hiccups here. All right. Let's scroll down and continue on first with the label. So we have this label here, we have the crosshair label, and we have here the label Y. So now what I want to do is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to say here, label X, and let's start working on this. So the label X and label Y are fairly identical. So we're going to have again a begin path, and we can just, I don't know if we can copy all of that, but let's do it like this, put it in there. Then what I want to do here is the fill, style and i realize that they are very identical so uh, maybe later on we have to do a refactoring on this but anyway doesn't matter next here is the fill rectangle i'm going to just type this out so it's easier to follow along rectangle and then what i'm going to do here now is because we need to have different coordinates compared to here here we had other co coordinates but here it will be slightly different so what i'm going to say here first of all i need the x coordinate here which is our starting point and then what I want to do here is comma. Then we want to start at the bottom. Remember, we, our text must be now here at the bottom. So we say here, the bottom. And what I mean by bottom here, chart area bottom is this part here, this line here. So once we have that, then I'm going to say a comma. And here we need to calculate the width of the text. So this one requires some tricks as well. So for now, I'll just make this 20 pixels. And then we're going to say here, the height will be as well 20 pixels. We know it will be 20 pixels in height because we will have a, a font size of 12. So that's already given. So let's start to look then what we need. So what I'm going to do here is ctx.font equals, we can just copy this. I guess we can just copy all of these items here or maybe even uh, put that Outside, I'm going to cut that, put it here, so we don't have to redo, redo this here. And I guess this, this one here can be as well. Oh, I'm afraid that's not possible. Sorry. So the reason why this is not possible is because we have a fill style here and a fill style here, and they will overlap on each other. What we can do is this. These are not being overlapped because we don't use another command here. Just can cut that and just put that one there. So we can do like that. And this later on needs to be done here again. So all of this, we will just reuse that in here. So we say no problem for that. So we don't have to define the font family, etc., etc. But what we do need to define is the color. Because else it will override it with this color here. Or that one here in this case. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to just copy this close path here. Let's close, close the path here. We have this white. And then what we need to do here is basically filling up or getting the text here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab here the uh, fill text. This is the one. But then I'm going to get that here, put it in here. And what I'm going to do here now is right now I just type in here 100 or Monday, for example. So what we need to figure out then eventually is what is the thickness or how many pixels in width this font is and then next what we're going to do here let's see is this correct here well in this case what i want to do here is i want to have it per, uh, exactly on the one where is that the x coordinates here the reason why is i put that there because as you go down here put it down here and then whatever it will point to and then this here the y coordinates is not because the y coordinate will be Focus on this. This should be here just at the bottom. All right. So let's 
save this and see what happens because that's the most important one, so we have a visual all right so we have something but you can see here monday is a bit too high and the width here is of course not suitable so what i'm going to do here is first of all here the bottom we need to de deduct this with 10 pixels why because the font is basically 20 pixels or at least we have a 20 pixel area if i'm not mistaken here for the rectangle well let's see let's save that and refresh see if it works well not deduct so why not deduct because if we do a negative it goes up so i need to do plus save refresh all right that looks better and now we have to figure out how we can get the thickness of monday all right so for the monday we need to calculate the width and the width is here so probably we need to have maybe 50 pixels let's see is that better not really it is somehow, but of course, it starts from here to and goes to the right. So what I want to do here, at least, is the following. I need to calculate probably, uh, or in this one here, I need to have, or sorry, in this one here, this is the rectangle here. I need to know how much the width. So if I do here minus 25 pixels, say, there we are. So this works. But this, of course, is hard coded, so I need to soft code this. Let's soft code now the Monday text. And I put it in a Monday, but it could be any text here. It must be right now dynamic text of Mon as we have here down, or Tuesday, whatever we have. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a command here. I'm going to put it here up. You see above is a constant. And this constant here will be equal. And then I'm going to say here measure text. And this measure text. Oh, uh, that's a uh, sorry. This should be text width. That's a constant, and then the command is ctx dot measure text. And what we're going to do now is for now, I'm just going to put in hard code Monday and say dot width. When we do this, we get the full width of this. So I'm going to put that in here. Text width, and we say here minus text width, but the text width here. Is the full text we do here minus 25 so probably we need to divide it by two to get in the center but i'll just leave it, leave it like this to see how it looks all right so now you can see here we get a text width and i guess it's now just a number here so we have to later on solve that one it's the text width uh of course so why is it a number here because i just convert this i'm sorry i don't want to do that it should be just monday all right monday there we are so what we need to do is we need to convert this properly. We're going to say here minus text width divide by two because I want to be exactly in the center. There we are. All right, so this works, but the text width maybe we should have a padding left and right. So what we could do here is let's go up. Let's say plus ten pixels. Say there we are. Oh, there we are. So that looks slightly better quite acceptable 10 pixels maybe even more we could do but that's up to you uh what i want to do next here is we have this coordinate here uh then we have this button everything is correct here this here needs to be converted because we have here this monday that's all fine but what i want to do is now i want to grab the text or the label so for that we need to do a few items what i want to do here is i'm going to show it to you i'm going to do a console log because this is a tricky one just so you can follow along. We have this get pixel for coordinates. All right, copy that. Put it in here. But now I want to have the x value. I'm going to cut that out. And what I'm going to do here is for the get pixel for coordinates, I want to say here now the uh, x core, I guess. So that's that makes sense. So if I save that, refresh, open up developer tab. What happened is, all right, x core is not defined. Or is it core x? Sorry. Or x save refresh there we are so it gets the five and four and what really gets it gets here between so it will understand this and let me just uh put that one i guess that one we could just put in here save refresh there we are so it knows here it's five because it looks at the index index zero and the moment here halfway through it starts to realize this is number one and halfway through it's number two etc etc so this is important for us to know so this here basically indicates the item and later on I'll probably have to convert this into a time scale because it would make more sense. 
but now it's just simple it understands even though we have your Tuesday Wednesday it understands the differences here so what I want to do here because this is the core which is basically gives us the index number all right so if we have the index number let's go to delete this one now I want to go here in the data and this data refers back to let's scroll all the way up to here uh, no sorry not even there let's go even up more to their data and then labels and then here we have the index so we just need to go to data.labels and then we get here the full text so we say here data.labels bracket put in the bracket here save this refresh all right there we are so this works now we have this one so then what we could do here above because this is the text here that's a fixed text so i'm going to copy this we can just put that in here save refresh all right interesting we still get a huge amount of text here so i'm going to check what is going on here or why are we having the response that we have so we have this here uh let's see here what would be then the exact coordinates we have that one there let me just check this all right so i was just checking why was it so uh the width was so much here and i thought there was something wrong with our code no nothing wrong i had this hard coded here the width so i need to just copy this text width and put it here as well save and then if i refresh it should work nicely there we are absolutely phenomenal and let me just test this by putting instead of uh, Monday or putting here full Monday long text, say refresh. All right, Monday long, and then there we are. Beautiful. Of course, it will clip off once we're going outside of here. So that is the only thing that we cannot avoid. However, if we're moving outside of the chart area, we should just hide all of this. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's solve that tiny hiccup. Scroll down. And then let's see, we have to go down not there but in here so remember we had this if statement here apparently this is uh it was not really suitable because we're still able to go outside of the region so while this is correct we just have to combine these together i'm going to copy this let me say and here but then what i'm going to do pay attention here because i'm going to cut out this one and remove this so it's all together again same here delete all of this because it's all together so we can combine them together we put it in here and this if statement should be including the functionality here including this function here so if we are within the correct range then everything else should trigger else don't trigger at all save and then it will disappear why because we have the update none here save that refresh all right, so now we are here. Go out of the zone. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Final item. This here. This is probably hit point radius. I'm going to remove that one. Let's see if that is what I suspect it is. So I have to go up. I think it's somewhere here. Up, more up. Yeah, the code becomes very, very long now. Now it becomes quite tr uh, tricky. So we have the hit point radius. I'm going to say here hit point radius equals zero. Save. Refresh. There we are. All right. So now we remove that and later on we have to probably create our own custom tooltip that will be shown all the time. So this is basically how to do it and next video we're going to cover some other items that are again more tricky compared to this one here.